computer. All right, here we go. So now let me share my screen with you guys and we will get officially started. So we just ran through, um, just ran through quickly. I promise I'm not this scattered normally. We just ran through quickly some of our, um, what some of our alumni have done. So this is the information session for our Tsunami South location, which we are out of 7776 Jonesboro Road. And Jonesboro, it's a brand new building. It's a 10 court facility. It's a, it's a very nice facility. Um, and so we operate, this is one of five locations. We're in central Georgia, Brookhaven, uh, Kennesaw, and uh, Rome. So we've got five locations. Um, our South location has been our hub. It's where our, most of our directors work out of, including myself. Uh, I coach our 12-1 our team there. So anyway, so this information session is for families that are new to Tsunami or new to club volleyball. So there's going to be a lot of information shared in a short period of time here as we run through it. So if you are a returning Tsunami family, you are more than welcome to stick around. You're going to get a lot of information here. But I will also be sending out a very short video version of just the stuff that's new going into the next season. So if you're already one of our veteran families and um, you are welcome to uh, to just wait on that email if you uh, if you choose. But for the rest of you guys, I'm going to go over everything, what it is that we do, how we get there, uh, what the costs are, where we're going, all those kinds of things. We'll go over all of it. So the first thing we want to talk about is figuring out what age your, um, your daughter would play. Um, so age group is determined by how old they are on July 1st of 2025 for next season. So for this season, my daughter is 11 on July 1st, 2024. She'll be 11. So she played 11s this past season. <clears throat> she will turn 12 in August. So next July 1st, she'll be 12. So she can play 12 and under. So all of that applies across the board um, for all of you guys, except there are some 17s and 18s rules that are a little bit different. Um, if you are a senior in high school, um, that is, I'm sorry, if you're a Junior in high school that's 18 years old, you can actually play 17 strikes. Anyway, if you're if you're 17 to 18, and it's not super obvious what age group you play at this point, then just reach out to us. Can you get them out of here, please? Yes, please get them out of here. Take them. Yes, them. Take them, please. Um, so hey, so if we can't, the dogs are starting to wrestle. Uh, so anyway, so it's the age that you are on July 1st of 2025. So if you have a question about that later, I'll I'll be glad to answer that a little bit for you here. So we offer four levels of competition at our South location. So elite, national, premier, and ATL. So our elite level are our top teams. Those are the kids that are crazy. Those are the parents that are crazy. Those are the coaches that are crazy. We want to be in the gym all the time. It's the kid who leaves practice. They come home, they pick up a ball, and they start beating against the side of the wall. And they're great athletes. So it, these, these kids are competing in the top 10% of kids in the country. So our teams are, are often in the top um, top four or five teams in the region. And our region has some of the best volleyball uh, out there. And our teams are often ranked in the top 100 in the country out of thousands and thousands of teams. So our elite levels are top level. And at our elite level, this will make sense in just a minute, but you need to keep in mind that our elite level playing time is not guaranteed. We're going to play to win. And so that might be your daughter playing more. It might be your daughter playing less, but we are going to play. Um, our intention is these teams are going to compete at the highest level. And if you want your kid to play, she's going to have to earn that playing time. So that's the elite level. And I only said that because we'll go through this in a second and you'll see what we're saying. So our next level is national. National teams train at the exact same level as the elite teams. Three practices a week. They do almost the exact same uh, positional work, all these types of things. The only difference is they don't travel as much. So they're going to go to one less national qualifier. So it is the same level of training at a little bit lower cost, a little bit lower exposure. There's nothing wrong with a lower exposure. It just means that your daughter has to do a little bit more work at 15, 16, 17, and 18. So it's just it, it's just a trade-off of money for time. So it costs you a little bit less. You have to do a little bit less. Um, you have to do a little bit more work if you want to um, if you want to go play collegiately or, or after high school. Again, at the national level, playing time is not guaranteed. Like I said, it's exactly like elite. We just don't travel quite as much. Third is our premier. These are our premier teams. They are um, what most clubs would call a regional team. They're going to play Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, maybe South Carolina. Uh, our premier teams are great places for two sport athletes to be. Um, they practice twice a week. Um, and then, uh, but they train at a high level. They play against the best competition we can find within that four-star radius. And there are some great competition out there. Um, 
but we are, I don't want to say we are lenient. That's not the right word, but we are a little more understanding the premier level. If your daughter has basketball tournament or she's got to go, you know, in a tennis match or something like that, we're a little bit more um, lenient as far as working with you in terms of, of um, making up practice time, that sort of thing. At the premier level, we say um, playing time is fair, but not equal. Basically during pool play, everybody plays during bracket play. Um, we're going to play to win. That's kind of our, our trade-off there. And then our final is our ATL level. And our ATL level is exactly that. It's teams that play just in the Atlanta area. Um, these typically are our younger coaches. Um, so we provide master coaching for these coaches. Um, and so you are going to practice twice a week and you're going to compete only in the Atlanta area. At the ATL level, Playing time is 100% guaranteed for everybody. So we it's not a stopwatch. Volleyball doesn't work that way. But you're going to play the same number of rotations. Um, so elite national premier ATL, playing time not guaranteed, not guaranteed, fair but not equal, and then equal playing time. So if that is your driving force, and it is for my, myself personally, I had two older daughters who played for a little while that weren't, quite frankly, they weren't great athletes. I just want them to play. So they played at the ATL level. Everybody was happy. Um, but if your kid's a superstar that wants to compete nationally, then look at the elite or national level. So, all right. So here's some tryout frequently asked questions. What level should I try out? So we got four levels. Where should I try out? We want you to try out for the highest level that you would play. So if you would be happy playing on a premier team, you don't have any desire to play on an elite or national team, then try out at the premier level. Same exact thing if you're like, eh, if they offered me a spot on a, on a national team, I'd take it. Then go try out at the national level. And if you, the way this works is that we do them in order, elites first, then national, then premier, then ATL. So if you try out for a lead and you don't make it, the only thing that happens is you get told no, and then you come back for the national trial. And if you don't make it, you get told no, and you come back for the premier trial, and you come back for the ATL trial. So there's no problem with you trying out a higher level. If you're a 16-year-old, it's your first time ever stepping on the volleyball court. Don't go try out at the elite level. Um, don't go try out at the national level. Those kids have all played a lot. And that's that's not a – that's not – I'm not telling you you can't. I'm just telling you uh, understand where your circumstances are. Get in our gym in advance, and you'll kind of have an idea of where you fit in. And then try out you, – you know, challenge yourself a little bit. So, you know, we never know who's going to come to tryouts, and we never know who has a great tryout and who shows up. So – what happens if you if you try out, if you register for national and you try out for national and you don't make it, you just come back to Premier. You don't have to re-register. You don't have to pay a tryout fee again. You don't have to do all that kind of stuff. You you wash the tryout shirt that you're going to get. You put it right back on and you come to you come back to the next um, trial. So <clears throat> the um, all the trial information, the trial times and all that kind of stuff are on our website. If you go to tsunamivolleyball.com, there are three boxes on the front page. The box on your left says tryouts. So you click on that and you want to click our south location. That's Jonesboro. Click on south and it'll pull up all the information, dates, costs, all that kind of thing um, for our south location. And you register for tryouts there. And go ahead and register in advance. Um, we're not going to sell out, but you get a lot more information the earlier you register. We'll send you copies of the practice schedule. We'll send you the, um, the anticipated tournament schedule. We'll send you the coaches list. We'll send you all those things in advance. So you have a lot more information going in as long as you register early. If you wait until near the end, then you miss all those emails. So here's how we do tryouts. We're going to bring you guys in. We're going to run you through a whole bunch of stuff. We start separating you out on courts. We assign coaches to watch different teams and look for different things. And we start moving players around. And then so tryouts is three, three and a half hours, depending on your age group. At the end of whatever, two and a half hours, we start having them compete. And we start filling out envelopes and stuff. And so at the end of the session, we will hand your daughter an envelope. And in that envelope, depending on what level you are, whatever, it will give you one of two or three options. It will say, congratulations, you've made a team. It'll say, I'm so sorry, you didn't make a team. Please come back to the whatever level. Um, or it'll. there are some that say, hey, you're an alternate. We don't do that very often, but like, hey, we, we don't have a spot for you on an elite team, but you're next. If something happens at any of these two positions, you're next in line. We don't do that often, but occasionally we do. So anyway, so before your daughter leaves the gym that night, she will know where she stands with us. Now you need to be prepared that we're going to ask you to put down uh, a deposit to maintain your spot on the team. So once we offer you that letter, then we're going to say, hey, if you, you know, if you want to take your spot, go ahead and sign up for the spot. 
go and fill out all this information. You can go and fill out your uniform information. You can fill out a whole bunch of information while you're there. Put the money down, hold your spot. Then we're not going to, we're going to not look anywhere else. We're not going to try and find any additional athletes. We're going to hold that spot for you. And we ask you to do the same. Don't go try out anywhere else. Don't walk anybody else's gym where they're going to start, you know, talking you into come playing there because you've already made a commitment to us and we've made a commitment to you. And so we want to honor our commitment. We want you to honor your commitment. That's kind of the way that goes. So if you get offered a spot, be prepared to take it. If you leave, um, it is not the kiss of death by any means. There is certainly a chance that you come back and that spot is still there, but there's also a chance that you come back and that spot is gone. So just, just so you know that going in. So you go, well, that's a terrible way to do it. We got to figure everything out in three hours. No, we don't want to figure this out in three hours. Get in our gym beforehand. Don't wait until tryouts and your daughter comes in and has a terrible tryout because she's got test anxiety or whatever, or a boyfriend breaks up with her that day, whatever it is, and she comes in and does a terrible job. Don't do that. Give her multiple opportunities to be in the gym with our coaches. Give us the opportunity to get to know her. Give us the opportunity to um, to move her around and put her in different spots and all those types of things. So don't wait until the last, last minute. There are tons and tons of opportunities to get in our gym between now and trials, like tons. If you have a younger kid, uh, Coach Trina and I are running a, a, a 10U to 12U Academy on Monday nights. Put your kid in it. It is, I, I run our 12-1 team and I, I will wear your kid out in terms of technique and fundamentals and touches on the ball and fundamentals and fundamentals and fundamentals. And, fundamentals. and they, will, they will get better in the five or six weeks. And I'll have a great idea of who they are. Uh, when we help pick the 10, 10s, 11s, and, and 12s coaches. So anyway, so that's, that's the 12U Academy. It's on our, on our website. All of this stuff's on our website. So anyway, that's that. Um, what if I can't make it to tryouts? It is 100% better for you to be at tryouts. No questions asked. You standing right beside the other girl, and we get to compare and contrast and all those things is a thousand times the right idea. Don't don't just not show up. Like, ah, eh, we'll figure it out. No, don't do that. Don't do that to your kids. However, there are times when things happen um, and we can't make it. I have a kid on my team. Father passed away. They've got a celebration of life during, um, you know, during the tryouts. And I, and I get it. She's going to be out of town. So in that instance, we're going to work with her and we're going to put her on the team. So, but at that point, she's like, just put me on the team and I'll, I'll play wherever you put us. Okay, great. Happy to do that. So if you can't make tryouts, reach out to us. Don't, don't panic. Don't do anything. Just reach out to us and let us know. Okay, so can she play up? Does she have to play her age graduating class? This is a this is a big question because they've changed the date uh, to July. It used to be September, and so you legitimately have some kids who can play down but are up a grade. So there are, there's a lot of gray area through there. So so here's how we view it: if your kid can start at a higher age group, then we will allow her to play up. If she's going to play up and sit on the bench then we're not, we're not doing that. That's not good for your kid, not good for the club, not good for anybody. So we're not doing that. And so it begs the question, should she play her grade or should she play her graduating class? I would say 80% of the time she should play her graduating class. However, there is 20% of the time where it is totally fine for her to play her age. And we have those conversations all, all the time. So we'd be happy to have those conversations with you as well. The only difference is that 16s and 17s, if you're playing your age, but not your graduating class, you have to do a little more work on the recruiting trail, but we're here for that. That's part of what we do and we'll help you get seen and all those things. So it's not a, not a deal breaker, but if all things are equal, you want to play your graduating class as much as you can. However, if you can't make like if the, the team situation at your age group is a lot better than the team situation with your graduating class, play your age group, make, make it the best possible, um, make it the best possible way, best possible scenario for you. And again, how do we get ahead of all that? How do you get in the gym to talk to us about all those things? Sign up for all the classes. So you can see it down here, tsunamivolleyball.com, all clinics. That is the link to the website, which will pull up everything that we're doing currently. Uh, in the next week, we hope to have our app out. When our app comes out, that will that will change, but it'll be front and center on the website. If you're looking for clinics here, click this, and you'll be able to put in like, it'll be great, big, great, 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 great thing. So anyway, so we have three classes that we run a lot. So we run the academy, the invite sessions, and train for trials. Train for trials is a class where we simply put your daughter through trials. Like, these are, these are the drills that we run. We might stop during the drill a little bit and go, hey, we're really looking at you guys doing this. Like, let's transition 12 feet off instead of 10 feet off. Those types of things. So training for trials is we're going to 
have your daughter go through the drills so that when we explain them at the very, very beginning, she's not lost. So those are great opportunities to practice trying out. Uh, invite sessions are kids who have played for us. We start, we have uh, elite invite and advanced invite, which basically are all of our elite and national kids and our top, top, top premier kids. We bring them in and just let them kind of battle out with each other a little bit. And we, we start to look at what our teams are going to look like for the next year. So we're going to tryouts and it's open game for everybody, but at least we'll have an idea of, Hey, these 10 or 11 kids are coming and we like them. Now let's see if anybody comes that, you know, that, that beats them out. So it definitely gives you a chance to, to get ahead. And then we talked about the Academy earlier. All right. I'm, like I said, I'm not watching the chat. I will come back to it. Um, so if you guys have any questions, I will come back to you in just one second here. All right, registration's up. <clears throat> Tryouts are July 12th through the 19th. Um, USA Nationals ends July 11th, and tryouts start on the 12th. <clears throat> and yes, I know that everybody runs their tryouts on the same days if you're looking at other clubs. Here's what I'm going to tell you again. Get in the gym beforehand. Figure out where you want to be. Figure out what gym culture fits your kids the best. You'll find that we have one of the happiest gyms on earth. And our, our gym is full of our alumni that are back because they loved it. They went off and played and they came back and will be part of what we're doing. So you'll see that I will put my gym up against anybody's gym any day. Um, and so you'll, you'll see that um, the, um, our gym is a happy place to be. And so before you ever get to the, well, I can't figure out to go to this team's tryout or this team's tryout, go to the one where you want to be. And then if you don't get that opportunity, then go to the other one. So hopefully you come to us first. If you don't get what you like, then you got contact the other guys. Uh, it'll happen. There's a spot. There's a spot for almost everybody here. All right. I've done a lot of talking here. I'm almost finished with all the stuff that I had to go through and we'll go over. So, uh, and then we'll give you guys a question and answer time. So elite national and premier all travel some. So we will book housing. We'll book blocks of rooms. You guys will then have the opportunity to go stay in those blocks of rooms. We kind of go middle of the road. We're courtyards. We're MC suites. Not middle of the road. We're a little bit higher than middle of the road, but not a lot higher than middle of the road. If you want to stay at the Motel 6 or you want to stay at the Ritz, that's totally fine. You don't have to book in those blocks of rooms, but we will make sure that you have blocks of rooms to stay in near wherever you're playing. That's part of our job, and we'll make sure we take care of it. For us, we do not have our athletes stay with other athletes. I am a father of an 11 year old who plays in the club. And when she travels, I want her to stay in the room with me. I don't want her to stay in the room with other kids because I want to make sure she gets to sleep. And I want to pay for one room instead of one room and 25% of another one. So as a father, I made that decision. Um, other clubs who are doing it the other way, they obviously are not parents of kids who would stay up and talk all night. So just want to, you know, I, my life changed when I became a father who had a, who was kid was playing in the club. My, my attitude changed about a lot of things. The only time that changes is there's a, there is a group of tournaments called state of play events. And when we get there, you have to stay in their rooms. That's just the way it works. And there's nothing we can do about it. And we'll get to, when you get to that point, we'll send you tons of information. So that's, you don't have to remember that. Just understand that your kid gets to stay with you. They're not staying in a separate room by themselves and we'll help you with all the travel. <clears throat> this is what we do best. Our, as I ran through, um, the uh, club thing before you were guys were able to see where everybody stays, where everybody had committed, where everybody gone to play. And you can see the, all the different levels. We have a recruiting program that is incredible. Um, as far as the, uh, the uh, databases that we provide for the athletes, as far as the coaching that I give to the parents, as far as what we're looking for and how to create your videos and what to do with your, you know, creating a YouTube channel and all these things um, that are super duper simple. The whole collection is simple, but there are, but if you don't know how to do it, it's, it, it's a little overwhelming. So there are a thousand and one recruiting one oh one um, recruiting clinics online. That's great. But I like the way I, uh, you like the way it throws that hand up there. I, I don't know how to stop it. Um, and then it changes that. Whoa. Hold up. I, I didn't tell it to switch. So, so we've got a thousand, but our recruiting clinic tells you what we're going to do for you. So when you get that opportunity to go through it, we'll talk about the things that we're going to do each week as far as helping you get recruited. And as far as the things that, that we're going to ask you to do that make that job easier. So we're going to talk you all through it. So if you want to play collegially, our club is a great place to be. And we've got the resume to prove it for the last 20 years. I've, the little things I had at the front, I only, I only put up five years. I've got them going back for 20 years. They're all impressive. But any school you name, I've sent a kid there practically. So anyway, 
So we'll talk any more about recruiting, but as you get closer to recruiting, we're going to spend a lot of time working on that. So, all right, so we're going into the stuff that most of you guys are here for, and that's the fees. <clears throat> the tuition to Tsunami is everything that you would pay to the club. So when we go to the page in just a second, it has the numbers on it. Some of you are going to go, whoa, that's twice as expensive as so-and-so. It's not. When you talk to so-and-so, you'll find out they'll give you a fee. Okay, it's $2,000 to play here. And then you go register, and then you sign up, and all of a sudden, oh, yeah, there's an $800 uniform fee. And then shortly after that, there's, oh, yeah, there's a there's a travel fee on top of that. And then there's a coach's travel fee. Oh, and you didn't pay the coach's fee either. And so now, all of a sudden, your $2,000 tuition is now $7,500, and you're like, what, what happened? So what we do is we put everything in it up front all at once. And so the number that you're going to see is everything that you would pay to Tsunami, top to bottom. There's You can budget from day one, and then we have payment plans that start from whenever your tryout is, um, or September 1st, I should say, from September 1st that run through end of April, 1st of May, whenever regionals are, and some of them go into June, which we'll talk about in just a second. But anyway, so there's a payment plan. So you, you can spread out whatever that number is over a bunch of months so you don't get inundated with this big giant bill. Um, so anyway, so no additional uniform fees, no additional coaching fees, no additional any any fees at all whatsoever. So here's here's also something that's a little bit different for us. Because our teams compete on a national level consistently, our elite teams at 13s and up all go to AAU Nationals or USA Volleyball Nationals. It's included in your tuition. So you're going to see a jump from 12 elite to 13 elite in tuition. And the difference is your season continues until late June or July because you're going to nationals. So that's 13 to 18 elite. And then at 15 through 17 national, those are big recruiting years. Those athletes will also go to AAU nationals. Or if they earn a bid, they'll go to USA Volleyball Nationals. But anyway, so they will go to nationals. So 13 through 18 elite, 15 through 17 national, you'll see that your, your fee, your tuition includes going ahead and going to nationals. That was a lot of information there. I'll come back to that, I'm sure, when you guys have questions in a minute. So here's what you've been waiting on. This is what our fees are for this upcoming season. <clears throat> you can take a picture of this, um, but I'll tell you how it, basically how it reads. Uh, so I, I mean, I think it's pretty simple. At the top, if you are um, if you are competing on our 10 elite team, it's $900 for the year. You'll have a payment plan. I think it's like 400 bucks. Um, and then it is, uh, and that's, you know, that's everything that includes your uniforms that includes everything. So, uh, same thing all, all the way up. So you'll notice when you go from, um, 10 elite to 11 elite, 11 elite starts playing in higher level tournaments. So 11 elite to 12 elite, 12 elite travels down to Orlando for an additional big tournament during the season. So that's the big jump there. Then 12 elite to 13 elite, there's a big jump there. That is the difference in, um, my 12 elite team stops at May. And the 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 elite teams go on in through June. So at 18, it drops back down because the 18 season ends earlier because they want to get them finished before school is out so they can go do their summer stuff, move into their apartments, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, so that's that's kind of what our, our pricing plan looks like. At spots like Premier, where there's no 11, 10, 11, 12 Premier, that's because there's not as big of a difference at 10s. There's not a huge difference between 10 elite and 10 ATL. Um, there, you know, there's numbers of practices, but as far as what we can offer in tournaments and stuff, there, are, there aren't four levels worth of difference. There are two levels worth of difference. And so the same thing at 11s. Then when you get to 12s, there's a little bit higher number of tournaments you can attend. And then when you get to 13s, it, it gets, it gets different. By the time they reach 17s, we anticipate if they're still playing with us and you're spending that kind of money, you want them to be considered for playing collegiately. And so you're, we're like at that point, like you're going to go to nationals. We're not. We're not letting you end in May if you're going to play for us and you're 17 years old. So that's kind of the reasoning for all that stuff done. And the ATL program is is meant to be more for um, more for beginners. And so at 15, like that's the last time that a beginner can step on the floor and stand a chance of, of making it. Now, it can happen. We do get, you know, the basketball kid who touches 10-3, 10-4, who walks in our gym for the first time at 17s. But it's the, you know, that's the obviously the exception. So anyway, so that's what our fees look like for this upcoming uh, season at our south location. <clears throat> All right. So our tournament schedule, uh, if you're looking at any of these different, um, if you're looking at any of these different options, if you go to our website, tsunamivolleyball.com right now and look at, uh, like if you look up 12 Jeff, uh, 12 Elite 1 Jeff, 
it will give you the 12 elite schedule. So that's what we did this year. And so it will be super duper similar to what we do next year. The dates will change, but the general idea, and if it's the third weekend in January for the tournament next weekend, it's probably the third weekend in January. Most of these tournaments kind of stay on the same weekends. So you can go through, we played Little Big South, played Big South, played Sunshine, Regionals. Uh, you know, these are all tournaments that we'll do yearly. And so you can get a really good gauge, plus or minus one tournament, of what the season is going to look like next year. So same thing for the ATL, Premier, all those. You know, so if you go into our website and look at the team that's at your same level that you want, you'll see what that tournament schedule looks like. Now, we will do our best to go ahead and put that tournament schedule together before tryouts, but a whole bunch of those dates, excuse me, a whole bunch of those dates are not released until November and December. So even if we give you a tournament schedule, there's still going to be a, eh, it might change a little bit because somebody decided not to host a tournament or a better option came up at the last minute, that type of thing. So just so you know that going into your, your, um, into your tournament schedule. All right. <clears throat> our coaching assignments, we're going to start announcing those next week for our South location. And we will announce them on Instagram and Facebook. So take a picture of that, go ahead and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And you will, we will start to, um, we start with the elite coaches first and we start to, um, you know, push those out and, and, and we will start to then create a page on the website where all the coaches are and where they're going and stuff. So anyway, but if you want first dibs on who's where, that there'll be resumes, there'll be everything in there. And I'll tell you that we have one of the best coaching staffs in all of the country in our Jonesboro location. Tons and tons and tons of professional coaches, tons and tons of guys who have played professionally, people who have coached at the Division One level, Division Two level, NCAA national champions. We got it all. Um, and and you know, my resume is one of the smallest, and I'm I've got a couple of big trophies hanging in the uh, room and have been doing this for 25 years. So 24 years. So anyway, so I think you'll, I think you'll be impressed with, with our, our coaching resumes. All right. Uh, coaching assignments. What's next? Here we go. Practice schedule. <clears throat> we have 90% of the practice schedule put together already, but once you register for tryouts, when we get closer, we'll actually send you the practice schedule. And the reason why we do that is if you have a night, you cannot practice. It may change what you're doing from a, um, uh, it may change what you're doing from a, like, I can't practice on Wednesday nights. The ATL teams are on Wednesday nights. I'm not trying out for an ATL team. Here we go, premiere. And so you, it gives you a little bit of, of a head start on not being surprised after, um, after trial. So anyway, so we'll send that out. This is another reason to register early. We will send that practice schedule out uh, several weeks prior to trials happening so that you'll have that information going in. <clears throat> all right, here are all the places you can follow us. Uh, we actually have our Tsunami North now has one, and I don't have it up here, and I apologize to those guys, but um, this is Tsunami Cobb. So Tsunami Jonesboro, Tsunami South is our original location, and it's, and it's um, you know, it's our, like I said, it's kind of our hub where most of our directors are, but our Tsunami Cobb location is our newest, and it's actually our biggest, um, and it is it is growing great. So they're a lot of fun to follow as well. You get a lot of a lot of great um, content watching both of those guys. So uh, those are great options to follow, sign up, follow those guys. Uh, you'll get a lot of good volleyball information there. And then for our South location, this is our, Heather Stanton is our lead admin of the club. And she's a tsunami mommy from a long time ago. Her daughter played for us. So um, she is at, she monitors our info at tsunamivolleyball.com. Uh, I also get those emails and Don Hunt gets those emails. So if you email info at tsunamivolleyball.com, somebody's going to get it and reply to you. Then there's my personal email address. And then there's our office number. So if you want to take a picture of that as well. But all of that information is all over our website. So any of the emails on our website basically will come to Heather or myself. Uh, and we'll see to it that you get, um, we'll see to it that you get an answer that you, that you need. Anyway, and then our phone number, if you leave a message, uh, I heard it will call you back for sure. That is the end of our slideshow. So I'm going to jump in um, to our uh, our chat here. I just see one thing at this moment, which is great. Uh, so what level of play is 14 Premier? That is a regional team for us. Um, and it depends on the location. Our 14 Premier team at our Cobb location this year was exceptionally good. Uh, quite frankly, they beat a lot of other clubs, one teams, uh, and they won a bunch of tournaments. So it depends on the athletes that show up. So we anticipate them playing at a power level. Um, uh, what is it? What is it? You know, okay. Yeah, we anticipate playing. It's going to lower my hand now. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, we we They play at a power level for the most part. That's one of those teams that if they're struggling, we'll move them down to a club level. If they're doing super duper well, we'll move them up to a higher level. So our premier teams, we kind of gauge based on their success 
as to as to the level of tournaments that we're putting in. So when will the elite training invites be sent? Uh, soon, like almost immediately. Uh, so if you have a, an elite athlete that doesn't get those invites or you think your kid is a superstar, um, what you, we need to do is have you email info at snellvolleyball.com to Heather and just say, hey, my kid's a stud. I'd like to be involved and invited. And so what we'll do is we will invite her to the advanced one first. And then when we get her in there, if she's head and shoulders above everybody else, we'll be like, yeah, yeah, we'll take care of that. So we'll we'll then invite her to the uh, elite invites. So advanced and then elite, um, both of those. But they, they'll they'll be coming up very, very soon. Um, all right, so here we go. Let's see. We're going to be training nice. The difference between ATL 14 South and Premier 14 South. Um, if it's done correctly, the Premier team beats the ATL team all the time. Um if it's done correctly, that doesn't always happen, but that's the way it's supposed to be. The premier team typically has kids who have played volleyball more. Um, they just can't do a full travel schedule, but they really want the travel experience. And so they will travel less. Everything for the premier teams, you can drive in a day. It's Birmingham. You get up that morning, you drive over, you play, spend one night in the hotel and drive back. Uh, where some of the stuff that the, the elite teams do, they travel a lot. ATL doesn't travel at all. So, um, oh, Heather's on with us. Great. So she just answered that question a little bit as well. I didn't realize she was there. Good deal. So, hi, Heather. Um, so how many 16 national teams in South do you anticipate having? We anticipate having two. We, we anticipate having two elite and two national at the 16 level, although we are prepared at 16s to have more if the athletes show up. We won't make it just to make them um, because that's too important of, a, of a, an age group. Um, but we anticipate having four teams at 16s, two elite, two national at the higher, uh, at the higher levels. So our parents required to attend away tournaments when a parents cannot make it. This would be for the premier 14th. Okay. So we do not require that, but we're not going to, I'm not going to ask my coaches to take on your daughter's responsibility. So if you have a friend on the team and you want to send your daughter with that friend, great. We've got no problem with it as long as that friend understands that they are in charge of your daughter. So um, you will need to go. She will need to have an adult chaperone. That's not employed by tsunami or not a, a coach at Tsunami. Um, but other than that, we're 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 happy to have her have her go. Uh let's see here. Can you please explain the again the difference between playing with your graduating class versus age, which is preferable. <clears throat> if all things are equal, you play your graduating class. If the team that you make at your graduating class is a significant letdown from the team that you would make at your age group, then you should play your age group. But for whatever reason, we've got some ages that are stacked with setters. And your daughter's a setter, and so she would make the 16 5 team. I'm making that up. She'd make the 16 5 team, but at 15s, we've got no setters, and she makes the 15 1 team. Go play on the 15 1 team for sure, no question. Um, so it's it's really it's kind of a seesaw, and you just kind of have to weigh the way the things against. But you should play your age group unless it's significantly better for you to play your um your I'm sorry, you should play your graduating class unless it's significantly better you to play your age group but if you play your age group it's not a it's not a kiss of death at all it's fine you just have to do a little bit more homework in terms of on the recruiting trail and we'll talk you through all of that so that's no problem all right let's see here parents are to attend how many 13 elite teams will there be our hope is that we have two 13 elite and two 13 national but we will make as many elite teams as we have um uh bodies for like we we at 13 and under it is our goal not to cut anybody. So we're not going to make an elite team just to make an elite team, but I'm okay with a 13-2 or a 13-3 elite team, a three elite team, if we've got bodies that can make it. Being on an elite team does not necessarily mean that you're going to win the region. Our 13-3 elite team is going to struggle some, um, typically, but it's because you want that experience. I want my kid going to the two qualifiers. I want them competing at nationals. I want them doing those things. So we will sometimes make a three team at an elite level at the younger ages because those families want that for their kid. And that's fine. Uh, and we'll train them. They can still get three practices a week. They still go to positional training with the master coaches. They'll do all those things. Um, but that's, uh, anyway, so that's that. Uh, let's see here. What else? Uh, how many 16 national teams to, I think we answered all that. The parent required to attend. Sorry, I jumped a little too far ahead. Um, how far would they be traveling? 14 South Premier. Everything's drivable. Um, so that is, uh, they're going to go Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, South Carolina, the most. 
Uh, is there a way we can pay for certain days of the team? So we got the bid to Dallas, so we can't commit all the June dates to the academy. We'd like for her to get the extra training. If you'll look at it, the dates that ten because I got it, my team got a bid. Uh, so the um, we're going uh, to Dallas as well. So that is not, it keeps trying to raise the hand up. I'm going to put it back in the corner. Um, give it a thumbs up. We'll get one of those up. Uh, so anyway, so the days of Dallas, we're not, um, there's no session. So if you join that, you're, you're good. You're good. Because I'm, I'm, I'm running those and I'll be in Dallas and my daughter will be in Dallas and she's part of the academy as well. What times are practices? So we run two practices in the evenings. Our younger kids are six to eight. And our older kids are eight to ten. I know ten to p.m. I hate it as well, um, but it it is it is the nature of club volleyball. Uh, it's the only way we can get everybody in. There are, um, for the most part, fourteen and under are the early ages. Sixteen and up are the older ages, and fifteens kind of split in the middle, depending on how many fourteen and under teams we have. Um, we put all the fourteen and under, we put all the all the teams early that we can. Um, but it doesn't always work out that conveniently. All right. I think if, if I didn't answer your question in here, um, if I didn't answer your question here, ask it again. When we register, we were required to put or which team we want them to try out for. You're, you are required to put what level you're trying out for, but you can change it. We, we can fix it. So if you put elite and then you get there and you go, I'm getting the cold sweats about that. I don't want to pay for that. I don't want to do that. And then you just email Heather and throw out some all about .com and just say, Hey, we really want to try out for the national level. And said, great, no problem. So you can't get it wrong. Whatever you do, even if a worst case scenario, you decide that morning, you don't want to come, just don't show up and then show up for the one that you actually want to do. So it's, it's, it's not what we want you to do, but, but you can't, it's not a, not a big deal. You keep previous teams together. We're looking to move to another club and wondering if it will be harder for her to make a team since she is new. 100%. We know athletes that are coming back and we have an expectation of these, you know, eight to 10 of our kids are probably going to come back and, and try out for us. But 100%, those teams are not made before trials. Now, we will have the opportunity to offer some kids spots and we may do that, <clears throat> but there are, plenty of spots available on every single team coming and going. The only time we start to, to make those offers is if at an age group, we only have, for instance, we have one setter, like I'm going to offer that kid a spot. Like I, she needs to know she's going to make our team and she's going to come in, but there's, a, but there's, you know, another setter walks in the door. There's plenty of room for it. So we are, you, your daughter will have a 100% fair chance to, um, to make a team. And again, get in the gym before tryouts and get to know our coaches and your chances go up because we understand exactly where you exactly where you fit uh when you join the clinics train for trials some of the coaches recommend which team they try for some of our clinics um we will specifically have coaches there that are going to talk to parents talk to the kids now in the past we've filled out forms like hey we really think this is you know where you fit um, and it, it turns out to be um, a great asset, but a ton of work. Uh, so we're not going to do it every single one, but some of them, absolutely, we will give you guys um, feedback on, on where we fit. And so here's the way that feedback works for you guys. If I tell you that your daughter would make the 16-1 national team, what I mean is that based on what we have at 15-1 national right now, your daughter would make the 16-1 national team. That does not mean she has guaranteed a spot. And sure enough, last season, we told some families that, like, your team, your daughter would make probably the – she would be on one of our elite teams, you know, if we had trials today. And then the kid comes out, and there are 47 other kids that come out that we weren't expecting, and she makes the premier team, and she's, you know, mad at us. I'm like, I, I didn't – we're not promising anything. We're just telling you where, based on what we have right now, what we think um, would happen. So I hope that answered all of that question. Let's see what else. What else? Well, typically, how many girls do you take on a 16 elite team? You know, actually having that conversation right now. Coaches have different, different viewpoints. For me, the perfect number is 12. And I know you go, oh, my gosh, that's so terrible with playing time. In practice, I need to be able to run six versus six so that the stuff I can work on, we can absolutely get it better. I've had teams with nine. I bet my current team is 13 uh, and actually run a lineup with 12 kids. And we run out of subs every match. And I tell them, if you score punt points in bunches, we don't run out of subs. If you side out, side out, side out, 
we're going to run out of subs. So it's, you know, it's kind of up to you guys. Uh, but 12 is the perfect number for me. And that is, that will be our target specifically at the elite and national levels at the premier and ATL levels. We, we tend to dial that down a little bit um, just because playing time becomes so much more important to the kids who haven't played a lot that don't understand the value of training versus, you know, getting on the floor for, you know, three rotations. So, uh, uh, can you athlete, where can we see the Academy training schedule? Um, that is a really good question. It should be on the all clinics. So tsunami volleyball.com slash all clinics. Um, and you should be able to go in and, and it, it should be there. If not email info at tsunami volleyball.com. And we will send you the link that Trina Brayden, who is um, our coaching director and is our new 12 and under coaching director and myself are running that clinic. She's a former division one um, uh, head coach and she is a USAV national champion coach. Uh, we'll be joining us and, and it'll be like, that's, that's worth your time of day for sure. hundred uh, percent. Have you explained the different levels of so if I don't think they look back. Yes, we have. We, we've gone over elite premier, elite national premier and ATL in short elite is the, Top, 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 fly around the world. National is crazy, fly around the world, but not quite as much. Premier is regional, and ATL is local. All right, what else? Now, I've talked a ton. I'm happy to keep talking. Uh, I think I've answered all the ones in the chat. If not, throw it back up there, uh, and I'll answer it again. I think I've answered everybody's everything. Does anybody have a question they just want to just shout out? I'm happy to answer it. Can I shout out a question? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. I, I think I'm, and this is all great information. I think I'm still confused a little bit about graduating class versus um, age because my daughter is right on the line. She turns uh, 12 on July 10th of this year and keeps mm -hmm. talking about wanting to play up on 13th. Okay. And the, the tri training for tryout times are different. So I'm trying to figure out like which one that makes the most Got sense. Got it. Got it. So she technically on um uh on july 1st of this year would be 11 so she would play 11s this year so next year this upcoming season she would play 12s she wants to play on the 13s that is um that she would fall in the category of if she wants to play 13 she has to be able to start um so uh yeah so my my 12s this year um uh, are, are pretty good and i've got 13 on the one team and our two team is is pretty solid as well um, so it not, I'm not saying at all that it can't happen. If your kid is an amazing athlete, then, then we would love to have her. Um, but she needs to come out and see what we're doing. Our 11 got a bid as well. She needs to come out and see what that looks like. Um, in order to, you know, yeah, it sounds nice to be able to say you play up, but the reality is it doesn't help you with recruiting. It's the same thing as playing down. You're going to have to do extra work. Um, Right now, for her at 12 years old, it doesn't matter. Wherever she plays, she can play. It isn't going to matter until she's 16. Um, so, you know, she can play wherever, you know, wherever she wants to. But um, thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, you're welcome. So, I, I would have her try, I would have her sign up for the 12 year old pay for trials. Okay. And when she blows everybody away, <laughs> she walks over to a coach and says, Hey, I really would like to play, you know, 13s. Can I come to that? And, and, and I will probably be there and I'll tell her. Absolutely not, or absolutely, let's let's do it. So one awesome. or the other. Okay, yes, thank you. You're welcome. When you make the team, when can you start the financial options? So we take a down payment at the beginning, which would be at tryouts, which is um, whatever that is, um, July. So we take a down payment at July. In September 1st, your first payment is due. So you would start your payments September 1st, and then we would run, and maybe September 15th, Heather can answer. But anyways, start of September, I think it's September 1st. And so then it's the first of every month, your payments are due until you finish, um, which for uh, ATL and Premier, basically you pay through uh, April, um, and then for national older ages and elite all the way through, you pay through um, May, and uh, there may be a June payment. But anyway, so it, it's it's spread out, but it starts September 1st. Other than the deposit, which is due um, right away. Uh, I haven't looked yet, but is there a registration fee? Yes, $50. Okay, Heather, answer that. How much is the down payment? I knew someone was going to ask that. It depends on the level you're in as to how much it is. So the higher fee ones, the down payment is a little bit more, but I think it's 500 bucks, quite frankly. I think it's like 350 for some of the babies and it's 500 for uh, the group. I think that's right. And that's, Heather is confirming that the lead is 500. 
no, she's she's answering the question there. It's nice to have Heather on the phone because she'll, she'll help us out. Elite 500, yeah, there you go. 500, 400, 300. There we go. Now, I've, we've done everything. I said this earlier. We've done everything that I wanted to do. So I think I've sent everything out there. Obviously, there are obvious, you know, there are additional questions and stuff, and you guys are welcome to stick around for any of that. But you've gotten all the, the bulk of everything. Um, so you're welcome to, you know, to jet at any point. For the rest of you guys, I'm here. Ask me whatever question you have. I am I am 100% um, available to you guys until we until we finish. And quite frankly, I'd love to hear questions that I hadn't thought I needed to cover. Can I come off on uh, mute and ask a question? Absolutely, absolutely. Please do. Okay. If you already said this, then um, then I forgive me for ask for, uh, asking again. Yeah. Um, yeah, totally so fine. whenever I um, whenever I raise to my daughter because uh, she'll be trying out for 16 and under um, okay. on you all's website. I think it asks like which level um, mm -hmm. we want to register for. Mm -hmm. Do we have to specify? Because like, if I don't know, I mean, I, I have to let you all assess her and see. Yeah. So you can, um, you, it does ask that question, but you can change it. So like Elite is our top level. If she's, you know, if she's played a lot, if you're super familiar with club, you can probably gauge where she is. If you're like, I don't have a clue. Mm -hmm. But, you know, she then I would say probably I would put national just okay. because it's kind of in the middle. And then you can you can change it. You can move up and down. Um, just you just have to let us know. Um, you just have to let us know that, you you know, hey, she's been in the gym with you guys. She, she really likes it. She wants to do more. Can we try it for elite? And then Heather will change it. And so you can do that with info at Sonoma Volleyball. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, all right. So here we go. Uh, what's included in the uniform package? It depends on the level. So that's one of the ways we cut costs at the ATL level. It's a couple of um, uh, like dry fit t-shirt jerseys, a couple of pairs of spandex and a backpack. Um, when you get up to the elite level, it's three jerseys, three pairs of spandex, pair of leggings, sweatshirt, I mean, sweatshirt, backpack, shoes, knee pads, socks. Um, I'm sure I left off something, but anyway, so everything in the middle is versions of that a little bit more, a little bit less, but our, our top group are getting shoes, backpack, knee pads, dogs, sweatpants, uh, some version of that. This year we got um, leggings, tights, or whatever they're called, leggings instead of sweatpants with a, a hoodie sweatshirt. The kids have eaten it up and they're wearing it and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's what we do. <clears throat> Fire away. If you never played club but played school volleyball, what level do you recommend a trial for? Ooh. I would say that depends on your school. If you are at one of the schools that's superstar stud school, schools, and I would also, Heather, I got you. That would also depend on your daughter. Like we had a kid last season walk in the gym, hadn't played club. I think she played one season somewhere, but she touched 10 2, 10 3, and she hit the junk out of the ball. She played a league. She played on our one team. Um, but then we get kids who have been like, hey, I've been a six-year starter on varsity since the eighth grade. I mean, that's not necessarily a good sign if your high school is letting an eighth grader start on varsity. But come on and take a look. And then they get in the gym. They're like, mm, okay. Um, so what we recommend, I hate to be redundant, is come to the come to the training sessions. Come out to the um, train for trials, all those things. And talk to the coaches there. Let us watch you play. Let's watch what level of training you've had with your school um, coach. And then we'll put you um, where we, you know, where we think you will, we'll advise you is where we think you should be. Okay. Uh, what is train for trials? Those are on our website. When are the train for trials? They're on our website under all clinics. So if you go to tsunami volleyball.com slash all clinics, um, you'll, you'll find the train for trials on there. You can also sign up for our newsletter and we send those out. Specifically right now, we send them out every week with a link to everything that we've got going on. Um, if you want to try out for Elite, but we'll be out of town for the tryout, you need to register and sign up for the Elite tryouts. You need to email us and let us know that you're not going to be there. And you need to get in the gym for all these sessions in advance. Because if you don't come to the Elite tryout, you're not going to be put on an Elite team if we don't know it. Like we have a makeup, but that makeup is usually like those Elite spots are usually gone. Um, just because from a business standpoint, we've got to complete those teams. And from a competitive standpoint, I'm not letting a great athlete that's in my gym walk out of my gym without having the opportunity to, um, to play on a team. So if you're going to miss elite tryouts, you better make sure we know who you are in advance if you want to play at the elite level. So this is very, it's, it's 
much as I'd love to say it's, you know, it, it, we're, it's super competitive. It, it is, it's hard to walk in our gym and make one of the elite spots right off the bat if you're not in there banging away, you know, shoulder to shoulder with the rest of the girls that are there. Uh, what is the uniform requirement on the court? Shorts and leggings? We don't care. Uh, we actually provide spandex and we provide, um, uh, this season we provided one pair of leggings and two pairs of spandex or three pairs of spandex. Um, so you've got, you got both options. We, we don't really care. Uh, came to light with strength trash. You got that there. Uh, how many 14 premier teams do you have this season? We had, I think two, and I think that's our goal again, next season. Our goal is really two elite, two national, two premier, two ATL at most of the levels. What is the uniform requirement? Of course, what's the is Okay. All right. Throw, you can, you're welcome to unmute yourself and yell it out uh, if you want to. We've got uh, – I'm happy to read them out of the chat, and I'll answer – Heather will answer a couple of, couple of options there. A little sweet tea with dinner. Hold on. Hmm. What do you have for me? Fire away. Hey, Jeff. This is Antoinette, Riley's mom. Hello, Riley's mom. How are you? Good. Um, do you have a few minutes after this? I wanted Riley has some tryout conflicts and I wanted to talk it through with you as well, just to get ahead sure. of it. I think I sent you an sure. email. So, oh, if you okay. did, I'm sorry, I didn't get it. I don't know. Um, yeah. I, look, yeah. No worries. No worries. Okay. Yeah, I, for sure. For sure. What else do you guys have for me? Anything else? Any any other any other questions? Are we 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 good to go? <clears throat> I don't have anything. Uh, nothing else in the chat. If there's nothing else in the chat, you guys are all muted. You're welcome to unmute yourself and yell out. Going once, going twice. Anything? Uh, any other questions we haven't covered? If you're a trial for the high level first, yeah, yes. If you if you're considering you want to play at any of the levels, try out for the highest level um, that you would possibly want to compete. Because if you miss it, it's hard to go backwards. It's easy to go down a level. It's virtually impossible to go up a level once trials come. Uh, we got positional clinics. So we are, we're running all kinds of things over the summer uh, as far as athletes are going. During the season, we actually run positional clinics during the season for our athletes. So all of our elite teams will break off into pins and DSs and middles and centers and stuff uh, during the season. But we also have, as Heather said, on Friday nights, we have positional clinics right now. Do you think the practice days and times will stay the same? Very probably. Um, I think we are Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday for all of our elite. We're Monday, Wednesday-ish for the Premier and ATL with a few exceptions. We do have some coaches who are like, I can coach, but I can't coach those days. Uh, but we will send out the practice schedule um, before tryouts uh, 90%, knowing that we sometimes make some adjustments when a mom has two kids we try and make sure they practice at the same time on the same nights or at least back to back on the same nights. So occasionally there's some uh, adjustments after tryouts, but we'll have a really good close approximation for what it's going to be before we get to, uh, before we get to trials. What else do you guys have for us? Anybody, anybody, anybody. All right. Uh, if that's the case, um, Antoinette, I will, if you'll shoot me an email, I will, um, I will send you my phone number and you can just give me a call. Uh, if for the rest of you guys, I'm going to end the meeting unless you guys, oh, here we got a couple of questions here. Practices, practices start in September. There will be stuff going on during the summer, but we absolutely respect our high school programs. So we're not doing anything on top of high school. It'll all be extra. Our practices will start uh, after the high school season officially, although we will get the teams together prior to that. Uh, and is there open gym? There are <clears throat> right now they're not open gyms because we're running so many classes there that it's open gym is kind of redundant at this point. All right. So I think that I appreciate you guys being here. Our numbers, numbers are starting to dwindle just a little bit. If you guys don't have anything else, um, I am going to uh, end the recording and uh, appreciate you guys. We will see y'all. I'm going to do it one more time just for the fun of it. Um, 
appreciate you guys coming out. If you have any questions, info at tsunamivolleyball.com. We'll get, um, we'll get to Heather and uh, myself, and we'll be glad to answer uh, any questions you have. So thank you guys so much. You guys have a good night, and we will see you all in the gym soon. Thanks. Bye.